Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to prevent users from executing scripts inside your WP Includes folder. Now that should only be accessible by your WordPress site and not by anybody else. For security precautions, it's a good idea to have a little piece of code in your HT Access file to prevent any scripts from running that are placed there by outside users. So you do this, like I mentioned, through your HT Access file. And it's really simple. All you gotta do is copy and paste and I will have the code below the video. So you just copy and paste it from there. So let's go to the cPanel in our hosting account to add this piece of code to our HT Access file. So here we are in HostGator, which is what this site is hosted on. You would log into whatever cPanel you're using and you find the file manager option. And we open the root for the website that we're securing and we access the HT Access file. You wanna make a backup first if you don't have a backup of it made already or if you don't have a, a recent backup. And if you don't have the HT Access file, which can happen, all you have to do is click on new file, type in period HT Access, and then click on create new file and you will create a blank HT Access file which is just a plain text file. You can also do that via FTP without any problems. So when you have the HD Access file, highlight it, click on the edit link, and then we see the code that's currently in here. This top piece is a code that WordPress adds for its permalinks. And the code that we're adding, I just pasted it in, looks like this. It's a bunch of gobbledygook. You don't need to know what it means exactly, but just understand that it blocks scripts from running in the wp-includes folder, which heightens your website security. Now what you can also do is if you already have this top piece of code from WordPress, you can copy and paste these five lines into the WordPress if module, because it's the exact same mod rewrite module. So you can just copy and paste that piece of code in there and then delete this one to make it a little bit cleaner. Or you can leave it as two separate ones. It doesn't matter, it works both ways. And then when you're all finished, click on save changes and now your wp-includes folder is a little more secure than it was five minutes ago. So I hope this video helps you. Again, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video if it helps you, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.